Unlikely Channel to unlock fuel. So in this video, I want to make a carbide scraper. So I've wanted to get into uh, scraping for a while, but anytime I try and look for the scrapers, they're either not available or they're just obscenely expensive. So for you who don't know what scraping is, it's essentially, you know, take a bit of metal and flatten it by hand the best you can. And there's a, there's a lot of skill in it. Yeah, what, I, 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 see, I've watched a good few videos, been watching people who actually know what they're doing and it is a skill thing, you know. Um, I mean, you can follow, you know, the techniques in that, but it's all about muscle memory, you know. Um, so essentially you would need a flat surface as your reference surface, that being, you know, a granite stone. Uh, and I, what I want to scrape is my, my machine vices. So... You would put a uh, layout fluid on your stone, you'd pick your item, whatever it is, my vice on it, move it about, and the layout fluid would uh, would go into like the vice and it would show you the high spots. Um and then you would proceed with your carbic scraper to scrape the high spots and you would keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that until you see, you know, like like my vice. Would, it would essentially all be blue under it and that would tell you that it would be flat, you know, flat within a couple of tenths or whatnot, but it really depends and as I say, it's all down to skill. So, I was uh, going to buy the actual carbite bits, but it's like, I'd seen a lot of, like, two or three of them were like 40 quid and I was like, surely, surely I can use these wee carbites, like wee carbite inserts, um, surely I can use these you know, to make a scraper and I think these would scrape no problem. Now I've got three here. Show I've these. got these ones here um, and I was actually gaining these ones for a subscriber, Brian, I appreciate that. Like, um, and I'm looking at like this one here. This one's probably the best because it's got, you know, kind of curves on it. So my idea but is that you can mount it like that. I'll just draw up something. I don't even need to draw, I just know, but I'll draw for the sake of showing you is like what we're actually got these going bars of mild steel here, and I've got paint. I did think about using this, um, but this is hardened steel, so I'm thinking I can use this for something else, but that aside, and we'll just use these. Is we want to obviously have a bar here, and we'll knock a bit of that bar off. And the idea is, but, is that we can mount that on there like that. And we have this part here, just a wee bit smaller than this, so that we can mount another bit of steel here. We have another bit of steel there like that with a couple of bolts a couple of bolts here and that would create um the tension that they need uh, that would that we need to hold it so i think that's a, a pretty good plan i think that'll work perfectly look. but again it's all about trial and error this stuff so no i'm going to clean it just start by cleaning us up getting us paint off look we better keep just going to start off. by cleaning it up on the sander, getting the paint off it, and then we'll weld, we'll put weld in these, and we'll get an our sand saw. So.
so I've just got a good old Nickerson file here so we're just going to use this Yes, we sort of want it to be hanging about just air halfway. And that's what we want to take care of it. And unfortunately, it's saying this is a bit this is bigger, but it'll make no difference. When I'm doing the clamp, I can just put a wee step in the clamp. Look. Just gonna, as I said, I'm just gonna go in with the Dremel and just smooth it out, consistent, and try and create a wee dovetail pocket, just a wee bit, just so that at least this bottom part is gone into it a wee bit. Just sitting in there a wee bit. I don't know if we need these corners here. Hmm. I don't think we do need them. But when it's clamped down it's gotta be solid, but I think getting rid of these corners will will be beneficial. Go, this bit here will be perfect. A wee bit of clean up with a file and see so I might round these bits there as well because I don't need them to be sticking out square like that like that I'll do it um, sits in there nicely it presses against it Nicely manly. I don't need it to be this long But what I want to do now is just figure out where I want to hold it um, And I'm thinking maybe like hold it a bit there like that Because I don't really want like to hold it for there I want to push it a bit there like that
Right, we're going to use some M5s. May need to cut them down a bit in the lathe, but we'll just focus on drilling our holes um, and then threading them. Do for that. Definitely don't need these to be this long. You can sort that once it's in, but I want to take like half of these, like take half of that away. So just fire it in the, the lathe. There we go. That turned out alright. Um, so now I'm just going to spend a bit of time printing them up. Um, printing them up, which I'll just do that off cam. There we go. I'm happy with that. It would be better if it didn't have the dodgy weld bits, but uh, it's what it is. I only took it up to 400 with well, edge. I just had to give it a wee light coating, uh, light sanding with a thousand, but in this wee bit. It was important to obviously get this all rounded there, because this is about to sit on the tap, so you want it to look to look good, you know. So we want to get some oil out of this, just to protect it. Go. Looks alright, you know. Doesn't it? Too, it doesn't look too a place, you know. That, that's sort of the way they look. Um, and obviously the back cabbage you get they are a bit longer, so it would stick out a lot more. The actual ones, you know, the proper ones. I say proper ones, but the commercial ones you buy. Um, I think it's going to work all the same. Because the angle that's on that is no far off the angle that are on them to begin with, you know. So, uh, let's say, uh, well, I, I have goat handles there, but I think that it'd be best to make our end handle. Uh, so, we'll start by making a ferrule. Just want to take this bit down first, just to fit our ferrule, and then we can just come up with a wee simple design.
came out looking all right for a wee honel, man. Look. There we go, man. Right. So it's going to go in here about halfway. Yeah. And we'll hammer it the rest of the way. There we go. And that, that looks sweet, man. It'd look better if that bit wasn't there, but uh, we'll just we'll just ignore this bit here. There we go, look. <laughs> it, it does look, uh, you know, like the one you would buy. The only difference is, is obviously we're, at, we're using inserts you would use in a lathe. Look, um, let's see, the, the, the big bit of carbide that you get is about that size. Um, so, man, I, I think it'll do the same job. I honestly do, but we're not going to test it in this video, that will be for the next video, so if you want to see if it works, and what I'm going to do with it, or what I'm going to use it on, and if I succeed with it, you better check that next video, but I man, for a DIY uh, cabbage scraper, I think it looks cool, but the question is, does it function? So I hope you enjoyed watching that guys, say so I'll make another video um, and we'll scrape uh, something and we'll see how well it does. Now, I've got no doubt that it's going to work, uh, it just comes down to my skill level, you know, and a lot of practice, trial and error. But um, I man, it was uh, it was fun to build this because I love building tools, because especially a tool that um, it's got a great deal of purpose and you're going to use it for a great deal of things um, you know, I, I say I say that before, you, you can buy these pretty sure I've seen ones that were like 70 quid um, it's, a bit, it's a bit expensive, you know, just for a wee thing like that this basically cost me nothing um, I, 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 I used what, you know, the bits and bobs I had in the workshop uh, a couple of pence, you know so I always think that, but you know, you're better off trying to make a tool or make whatever that thing is yourself. Especially if you've got all, all the stuff in your workshop like that, you know. So, hi right, guys, you better catch me up in the next video, alright? So, I'll see you then. Take it easy, God bless guys. Don't forget to build some guys. See you later.